15, 1968, George Foreman of the United States meets Lon Alexi of Romania in the heavyweight boxing quarterfinals of the 20th Olympics. But first, let's take a look at young George Foreman in training just two days before. Here's George working hard to be in the best condition of his life for this Olympic boxing competition. George loves to wear his Olympic togs while training because of the inspiration they give him. Working out on the heavy bag gives George his tremendous punching power. And now we go to the night of the fight. It's round three. George Foreman of the United States in white trunks. Lon Alexi of Romania in red. This is the quarterfinal of the heavyweight division in this Olympic boxing competition. Foreman in white trunks has been boxing well and is keeping Alexei off balance. Alexei is a rugged southpaw, but George Foreman's powerhouse punching is proving to be the decisive factor in this bout tonight. Alexei has cut over the left eye. The referee will be keeping a close watch on that cut as the fight continues. The referee steps in and stops the fight because of that cut over Alexei's eye. George Foreman of the United States wins this quarterfinal bout in the heavyweight division and continues his quest for an Olympic gold medal. Since 1968, George Foreman of the United States meets Giorgia Bambini of Italy in the semifinals of the heavyweight boxing competition in the Olympic Games. Let's take a look at George training for this important fight. Thus far in the boxing competition, George has made up for a lack of boxing finesse with murderous punching power. None of Foreman's qualifying bouts have gone the distance. George has worked very hard and is ready for this extremely important heavyweight Olympic semifinal. And now we go to round three. George Foreman is wearing white. Giorgia Bambini of Italy in blue. The first two rounds were close, with Foreman's harder punching possibly giving him an edge in the judging. Here in round three, Foreman continues to be the aggressor. Bambini of Italy appears to be tiring under the barrage of punches thrown by Foreman. Foreman looking for an opening to deliver those rock-crunching punches of his. A jolting right hand to the jaw, and Bambini sinks to the canvas. Bambini is dazed and hurt. The referee is counting, but it's all over. George Foreman of the United States advances to the finals of the heavyweight boxing competition in the 20th Olympics in Mexico with a third round knockout of Italy's Giorgia Bambini. George George survived the early rounds of the 1968 games and made it to the gold medal round against Russian heavyweight Iona Shapulis. He worked as a minor and tipped the scales at 220 pounds. It was a classic USA versus Soviet Union matchup. So let's go to Mexico City in the summer of 1968 to see a young, maybe 19-year-old George Foreman going for the gold medal. The fighters move out for round one, fighting for the gold medal here in the 19th Olympiad. Foreman is 19 years old, six feet, three and a half inches tall. He is from Pleasantville, California, where he works as an instructor in a job corps center. This has to be the highlight of George's life as he goes right after the Russian Ionis Chipolis.
George winging in those punches here in round one. Foreman will try to follow in the road taken by Joe Freezer, United States heavyweight who won the Olympic gold medal in 1964 and then turned professional and went on to capture the heavyweight championship of the world. Ripping lefts by both fighters. It's all action here in round one as George Foreman is going for a knockout. Ripping punches by George Foreman. Chipolas bleeding from the nose. George is throwing bombs in there. He's taking over from the more experienced Russian, Ionis Chupolis. A marvelous first round for George Foreman. The Russian looks like he's in trouble. First round, a dynamite round for George Foreman. Chipolis wearily sits down in his corner. His second wipes the blood off of his face. George going right to work here at the beginning of the second round. Dynamite punches by George Foreman. Oh, a crisp left by George. Foreman is all over the Russian. A standing count by the referee. The fight will continue at the count of nine. Chipolis looks in very bad shape. George is going after the Russian. The referee tells the fighters to continue. The referee warns George for holding and hitting. Foreman throwing bombs in there. Ripping punches by George Foreman. He's all over the Russian. Chipolis looks all through. George pouring it on. And the referee stops the fight in the second round. It's all over. George Foreman wins the gold medal.
of the 19th Olympiad in Mexico City. Ionis Kapolis, very weary, a dejected loser. And there's George holding up the American flag in the center of the ring before thousands of impressed spectators and millions more of television viewers. An inspiring ending to Olympic boxing at the Mexico City 19th Olympiad.